Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm not a full fledged YouTuber, but like you know, let's just let's just pretend. So today I tried on a bunch of new makeup that I got specifically from Tarte. I got a lot of stuff that I tried today. As you can see, I tried like, but mainly I got like travel size just because I want to try it out, test it out. I tried the concealer which I've been meaning to try for a very long time. Yeah, mascara and this pretty pretty palette. If you guys want to watch how, what I feel about the products, but how I actually get this look, just keep on watching. Hi you guys. Oh my gosh, can you tell that it's morning and I just woke up, I just bathe, wash my face, put on a layer of foundation <laughs> and here I am. My face is puffy. Well anyway, what I wanted to do today, um, I just had this thought last night that I wanted to film this. Yesterday was Black Friday. Actually the sale is until today, Black Friday sale. I went to Sephora and I got a bunch of things. I mainly got Tarte. I got like a bunch of Tarte products that I really want to try it out and I thought, you know what, I want to film it. I want to see how it actually performs because I've been meaning to try some of these products for a very long time. So yeah, so today's video is going to be a try on um, review i'd say probably no probably it's just like a try on haul because i feel like to review i have to give it time because sometimes i like it and then like three hours later i don't <laughs> so on my face i put on foundation also i did my brows the next step i'm gonna do is put on concealer and side note if you notice i have a pimple that popped so please just ignore that how bad is it? It looks like a beauty mark. So I want it to be like a full tart, you know, tart um, try on haul makeup thing. Oh my gosh, what do you call that? But I do not have a tart foundation. I just use my normal everyday um, go to foundation, which is Maybelline Fit Me together with um, Peri Barra. So I got this such a cute size um i am in the shade light neutral i've heard so many good reviews about it even the sales lady in sephora was like you gotta try this i'm like i am <laughs> so man the brush application is like very thick very big I do not wear ooh, I do not wear concealer that much on a daily basis. I do not not know where I want to put this some more, but <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this brush here. This is a pointed foundation brush. Uh, um it's by real techniques. So I heard that this um concealer has like high coverage. So let's see. Ooh. Does it have a smell? Does it have a smell? Hmm. No, it doesn't have a smell. I do not like um, scented makeup, like you know, um, foundation or concealer. There's this one, I think it's by Physicians Formula. I used to use it a while back, but they have like this fruity scent, which really throws me off, honestly. It like sets nicely, it's just a little bit tacky, which I kind of like. Not too sticky. Can you see the coverage? Guys, there's construction going on. Ooh. 
Okay, so my take on the concealer. I love the coverage and like so far so good. I don't know. I feel like concealers, you just gotta take time to actually know if you like it or not. If it creases throughout the day. But I feel like my under eyes are a lot brighter, a lot more awake. I get the hype it is so nice it doesn't like accentuate any texture or anything okay the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my face I'm using the silky girl magic BB white so I'm just gonna do it um, quick I usually just I usually I usually just uh, set my entire face nothing too crazy I like using this expert face brush. It's also by Real Technique. Denser than I feel like what people would like, but I personally like using this because I set my face by like stamping on powder. So what I've been using just now is this set that I got. So this set, it have um, the concealer. I I think the concealer, how many ml? It's concealer, oh it's here. Okay, so for the concealer is just 5 ml. And then it comes together with a mascara as well as um, this is Maru Maracuja Juicy Lip. Um, I think they say this is like a tinted lip balm. I opened it yesterday and it like kind of goes everywhere. My lips are dry. Like it actually like melted. I don't know if you can see that. It melted so I'm gonna do it this way. Ooh. I like this. So this is in the shade Rose. Okay, I love it so far. Just because how hydrating it feels on my lips. Personally, it doesn't feel too thick. It's not too thin, but um, as long as it doesn't crack my lips later on. Love it. Another thing that it comes with is this Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Why is it not focusing? Focus on these. Yeah, it's the Tarte Man Eater collection. I think it's a collection. Yeah, I'm excited to try that out. So next, I'm gonna go in with my eyes. And for my eyes, I got this travel size Tarte um, High Performance Naturals. It's the Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. And this is in Power Bar. I, when I saw this, I was hooked on it. Uh, the main reason I went to Sephora is to get my mom an eyeshadow palette. So I actually got her this one as well and I could not resist getting one for myself. The colours are like very everyday brown neutral colours that I swear like I feel like everyone should have one of these. If you want an eyeshadow palette and you don't want to commit to a lot of eyeshadows, you know, you want everyday but you can also do it like a smoky vibe and also you have like the dark uh, shade all the way to light shade it's so pretty you can go for like a warmer neutral or like a cooler neutral so pretty i tried it a bit yesterday and i love it so far okay so for today i'm going for a very simple look um i think i'm gonna start with this shade right here does it have a color? I think it's driven. I think. Okay, so far I like how the color payoff is. It's pigmented as well as it's quite um, easy to blend. I feel like that's important if you want like a good eyeshadow, it needs to blend properly. Um, I do not see that much fallout from the eyeshadow because some eyeshadows they just like poof. <laughs> it's pretty. I love it. If you rarely wear eyeshadow and you're like how the hell do I wear this? 
I got you, boo. So what I do is I always take like this base color, this um, either like a warm neutral or a cool neutral that you want. And I will usually just like buff it out on my eye socket. Just because when I open my eyes, if I put it close to where my eyelids are, like you can't see it. But when I focus it on my eye socket, you can actually see. Yeah. So I'm going to take is this shade right here. It's this shimmer shade I think called Axel. I feel like for shimmers, I usually like to use my fingers. So let me just try it with this brush first. And what I do is that uh, with a shimmer shade, with a light shade, I'll pat it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That is pretty. Okay, so what I do for like a shimmer shade, I'll usually put it on my inner corner and like bring it to the center of my eyes. So I'm gonna continue with this brown shade right here. I'm gonna take it with this brush. It's like a bit denser but not so dense. <laughs> a smaller blending brush, a smaller brush. I don't know the names of this brush because there's no names on it. And what I do with this dark shade is that I will first start... It's like I'm doing a wing. Like here. I'm gonna like place it at the corner of my eye here. It might look a bit messy. <laughs> but you're gonna blend it out later. It's just where you're placing it. I'm giving myself like that doe eye i think it's called a doe eye i'm gonna be taking a blending brush after i put it there and without any product i'm just gonna blend away you can skip this part and just leave it natural like that more natural looking and i'm gonna blend it this is to give my eyes like an illusion that my eyes are bigger than it seems okay yeah okay sorry my sister came in but i've just been doing the same thing on my other eye just blending the edges just like that i'm gonna insert like clips of the swatches just because i feel like you can only see the colors well but so far i'm loving the palette i love the um color the shades the tones is very pretty, very easy to wear. You can like do so many looks with this for like everyday use. Another extra step that I'll be taking is I'm gonna take this dark shade again on a smaller, smaller brush, and I'm just gonna like not not fully, but I'm just gonna connect it just a little bit here. Just like that. This will just help my eyes look bigger. Because that's always the plan, right? Okay, so far I am loving the eyeshadows. I should stop right now before I go overboard. Because <laughs> that can happen. That always happens. Okay, I'm not going to go into my eyeliner and mascara just yet. I'm going to be going in with blush. And for blush, I got this from yesterday's purchase. If you spent 240 and above, you can actually get this free, which is a pretty good deal. So you get these three items. So you get this blush here, and this is in the shade Party. Uh, as well as this Tarte Marajuka Juicy Lip which is like the lip balm that I used just now but in a baby form this is in the shade Grapefruit which I feel like is so convenient to put in my handbag and also a mascara the Lights Camera Lashes 4 in 1 mascara yeah so this mascara as well so I feel like it's a pretty good deal you get like so many products that I honestly don't know how often I finish like a full size so travel size, mini size are my favorite 
So I'm gonna be trying this blush up right here. Look at the color. It's also like an everyday wearable shade. So pretty. I'm gonna use this big brush here that I've been using for my blushes. I don't know if it's pigmented. Oh. I don't know if you can see it well. Ooh. I love blushes that's buildable. I don't like those that's like it's like so pigmented. I like those that you can actually build up slowly. It's a matte blush, there's no shimmers to it. Is it too bright? Am I going overboard maybe? <laughs> but it is so pretty. These days I have not been using highlighter just because my face gets like oily. Um, and wearing a mask one thing I realized when I wear highlighter it actually accentuates my my textures a bit more so so I'm not gonna put on highlighter this time and before I go in with um, eyeliner and mascara I'm gonna be setting my face I'm using the MAC prep and prime uh, fix plus I do not have a fan. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, right? So for eyeliner, I do not have anything from Tarte. I'm gonna be using my Try and True uh, Maybelline Hyper Sharp Power Black. I got no other eyeliner that I like. Or I don't know if I want to try new ones, maybe. I tried a few but I just don't seem to like it so I've always gone back to this. That's basically it for eyeliner. I'm not going too cray cray, just a simple line. I feel like eyeliners just change the whole game for me. Without mascara or eyeliner like it kind of ties everything together. I lost the little one that I showed you guys just now, the light camera make lashes, I think it's called. I'm gonna be trying out the Tarte Man Eater mascara, but before that, I'm gonna just curl my lashes. I don't know, maybe because it's like a travel size, a mini size one that the brush looks gigantic. It's like gigantic. What's your favorite mascara? Like, what type? Like, I feel like this type is like a tube mascara which probably is easy. It's easier to like remove. But there's like some that like stays on forever and like even oil <gasps> Fish curry Oh man I wrap my concealer now Damn it I wonder how this mascara is, is it buildable? That's one thing why I don't like about mascaras is if it's If the applicator is like huge like this I can never like make it clean like I always I always do this that messes it up wearing this i feel like the mascara is okay it doesn't like clump up like i like how it just feathers out my i don't know if you can see it it just fe feathers out my lashes without like clumping it so much i'm not mad at it i do like it but i feel like one pet peeve with mascaras is that if it transfers if it transfers down nay nay but so far, I'm loving it except for that. <laughs> I'm basically done with my eye. Okay, please just ignore that. Wrote the whole look. And for my lips, since I put on that rosy, what do you call that? The juicy lip. I do not actually want to put anything that much but I really want to try this. Okay, I lied. I actually tried it yesterday but you know, I want to try it today. You know, try on it. So this is the Tarte Plumping Gloss. This is also from the Man Eater line. I think that's the line, right? I've been looking for a gloss 
and I feel like I'm excited to try this. This is the Man Eater Plumping Gloss in the shade Buff. I mean, the packaging feels good. Is it glass? And look at the cap. So pretty. One thing I find, like even for like Fenty, their glosses, the applicator is so huge. My lips aren't that huge for this, okay? There's no scent to it. It's like tingling, it's like minty, um, cold. Mm. It feels like I ate like you know those polo sweets like the coolness the mintiness but you don't taste it there's no scent or taste or anything but isn't it pretty and we're done this is the final look so yeah i tried on their power bar amazonian clay eyeshadow palette which i love their mascara, I tried the Tarte Man Eater mascara, love it as well. I don't know how it is gonna be like, you know, throughout the day. Hopefully it doesn't transfer, but so far so good. I tried on their blush, I've had another blush as well, which is just another shade and I love it. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. I tried on their concealer so far, it's really nice. It doesn't like, accentuate any of my wrinkles. Yeah, I got some wrinkles, okay. And like the texture so far, it looks so nice under my eyes. So pretty. I don't know how you guys can see, but it's really pretty. And I try on their juicy lips, which I love so far. I don't know if it's gonna crack. And I put on a plumping gloss. It's a man eater plumping gloss in the shade buff. So pretty. I'm gonna like list down in the description bar below so if you guys want to know what I wear, what I got, I'm gonna just gonna include below. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I love this kind of videos because I get to try new products that I get and probably buy new products just because this is fun to do. But yeah, I love it. The next thing on my list I want to get is the Barn This Way. Um, what do you call that? Is it Urban Decay? The Barn This Way um, foundation. <laughs> so yeah, if I get it, I'm gonna try it and probably do a try on haul for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.